Hello and welcome you. Thanks for tuning in to Beyond World. This one we have a special bulletin coming up. I'm Ananya Datta. Let's get started with the headlines. Palestinian militant group Hamas says its leader in Lebanon, Fatah Sharif Abu al-Amin, is killed in an Israeli airstrike on his home in the Al-Abbas camp in South Lebanon. Israeli Foreign Minister rules out ceasefire in Lebanon until disarmed Hezbollah moves away from border. Conveys message to 25 foreign ministers including Germany, Britain, Italy and Canada. Israel bombs Houthi targets in Yemen port city Hodaira expands its confrontation with Iran's allies in the region two days after killing the Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrullah in an escalating conflict in Lebanon. U.S. approves $567 million in defense support for Taiwan as Taipei announces full combat readiness after detecting multiple waves of missile launches in China. Rescue teams in Nepal searched through wrecked homes after waters recede from monsoon floods, at least 192 killed and more than 1.8 million people affected. Death toll from powerful storm Helene rises to at least 93 as rescuers battle to reach people in need across the southeastern US. Shares of Chinese property developers soar as first-tier cities ease home purchase restrictions. A real estate index gains around 9%, boosted by China's largest stimulus since the pandemic. Actor-politician Mitun Chakraborty named as the recipient of the prestigious Dada Sahib Falke Award, which is India's highest government honour accorded for contributions in the field of cinema. <laughs> 